they always call me a dainty princess. I like it sometimes, but that was ridiculous. <laughs> First of all, I hope y'all had a wonderful Halloween and happy November 1st. My fur babies and I certainly did. Plus, my birthday's in exactly one week. Mr. Abby is coming to visit me on my birthday weekend since we're long distance, so I'm so excited. So speaking of birthdays, I figured I'd show y'all some pictures of when my cats were kittens. So Saul is on the left. He was about four weeks old in this picture. We always would put him between our legs and he'd play with his little mousy. And then Deacon's on the right. He looks so scruffy. Also, y'all, I do think I'm getting sick, so if I sound a little stuffy, I apologize. So then we have the girls on the day we got them. Snowboots is on the left in both, and Bunny's on the right, and they're both so cute and adorable. A fun fact is that we were only supposed to get Bunny that day, but the foster mom brought them both over, and we said, you know what, we want them both. And it's so cute because Bunny pretty much hasn't grown at all. She's still so tiny. Now, considering we're in the throes of this slummy tummy nonsense, I figured let's look back on the time Amberlynn announced her engagement with Beck, and this was a few years ago. Rewatching this, I noticed just how disinterested and fake Amber seems to be. Without further ado, let's get into it. Hey guys! So, welcome to a new video. So, we're just gonna do some makeup and... I'm not a makeup guru. Um, I don't know what I'm doing half the time. I'm just kidding. Um, I'm just gonna go for it, do as I do, and we're just gonna chit chat. I'm engaged. Something I wanna ask you. What? What are you doing? What do you mean? Are you for real? Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna act as this bitch. I love you. I love you that was funny. <laughs> it's just hard doing prank videos. So that is an actual situation. I am shook to the core. Um, it was so special and it was totally Becky the way she asked me. I've actually been engaged twice. The first time was when I was 17. So I, I don't even know if that really counts. We can maybe talk about that some other time. No, thank you. No, thank you. Just about almost two years ago, I was engaged and I kind of want to share how I got proposed to because it's rather um, unique, if you will. So everyone has dreams of how they want their partner to propose to them. I know I do. I'm very vocal about it as well. I feel like if you have a certain dream or if you have like a certain ring that you want or a way that you want to be proposed to, let your partner know. If they do it, that's great, they listen to you. If they don't, well, that sucks. <laughs> so I've always been super vocal about how I want it to happen. Like I'm very much, I want it to be personal. I don't like no public proposals as sweet and as, claiming as that is like you're literally letting everyone know like this is my woman like i love that but i'm also super shy and i know it's hard to believe but i don't like the attention on me you're a law you're a law i actually kind of hate it which is hard to believe because i am a youtuber but i promise your girl does not want no public proposal but i do want it to be romantic like you know some petals some candles some beautiful music like i want to be looking good maybe right after a date night or you know just like super romantic i'm talking like so cheesy that we're just both pepper jack cheese like living our best life like i want cheesy yes i do i love cheese i love just sing with me please we love cheese, da dun. 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 Yes, we do. Yeah. I want things that you see in stupid romantic movies. Like that's what I want. But how I was proposed to? <laughs> I was sitting in the living room. It was about 2 a.m. and I was in a moo moo. We were at the airport. Yeah. In our moo moos. 
I was like actual grandma chic. I had my floral moo moo on, living my best life. Don't think I showered that day. Hello? Is anyone home? Ah! It's tell you what I was doing. Probably binge watching some YouTube moment. Who knows? And I remember it being January 13th because my partner thought that she wanted to change that day for me because years prior, that's a day that I got broken up on, like where my heart broke. <laughs> I'm editing that out, like what? So she wanted to change that day for me into something special, which I get where your mind frame's at. It's, it's a good mind frame, but it's also kind of weird all in the same. Your heart was in the good place, but it was in a place that I, I don't know. I don't know, it was just weird, okay? So I'm in my moo moo, not showered, hair greasy as per usual, and all of a sudden, like she comes out, like she's also in her pajamas, like just living her best life. We both got the greasy hair, just living our actual uh, separate lives in the same home. I don't know. There was definitely a disconnect. I don't know. I just feel so disconnected. <sighs> especially when she walked out of the bedroom with something in her hand and it was like this clear box and it was small and I could tell something was in it and she just sat down across from me and handed it to me and I looked at it <laughs> you guys it <laughs> This is embarrassing, but it's like an actual true situation type deal. It was a tiny pink vibrator with a engagement ring wrapped around it. Like it was like, say this is the vibrator. It was like on it like that. And she looked at me and said, will you have sex with me for the rest of my life? And I said, yes, no. I am, um, we hadn't had sex. We had sex one time in the last like three years. So it was, it was a definite, I don't know. It was very like disconnected. I just feel so disconnected. Um, I don't know, but that's how I was proposed to. I know a lot of people have been asking about that. I thought I shared it before. I thought we actually both shared it before in like a past live stream but maybe not. And I know not everyone sat through those live streams because that was like a whole different era that was like super boring, but the question is answered. And I will say, everything comes from a good heart. I like to believe that. But just because something comes from a good heart doesn't mean it's not awkward. It was totally Becky, the way she asked me. Um, we're keeping that private for now. <laughs> there are a few people who know, you know, close people. Never had bestiality. Ew! But, Oh my god, I love her so much. And I will say though, she was supposed to ask me last year. She had it all planned. Not supposed to, like that's what she wanted to do. Sure, Jan. Um, and well, the story goes like this, which I can say this part. So what had happened was Becky, okay, so I forget what was happening, but Dana and Destiny were actually over. Um, this was during Vlogmas. And long story short, she was going to ask me on my birthday, but. I'm very Wait! But I had no idea. So it was during Vlogmas. My birthday is December 27th, by the way. And. Becky was showing all of us something on her phone, like a picture. And I happened to scroll over on her phone and I saw a picture of an engagement ring. And I said, Becky, what's this and why is your hand holding it? <laughs> because the engagement ring was in her hand. Well. That's how I found out. <laughs> um, I felt like so bad and <sighs> yeah, Dana and Destiny knew about it. Um, 
a lot of people knew about it and I completely ruined it. I felt, you guys have no idea how bad I felt. Like I didn't care about myself. I no one cares! Didn't care that I knew for my sake. I felt so bad because Becky was planning like this whole thing and ugh. I felt so bad. Oh my God. But yeah, that's how I found out. And she was like, oh my God, blah, blah, blah. I was going to propose on your birthday. And I was like, oh my God, you shouldn't have told me that. But then when she told me, I was like, you know, do what your heart is telling you to do. But yeah, I ended up like crying because I couldn't even believe it. Like the fact that Becky wants to marry me and like spend forever together is really something special um <laughs> like I have been engaged one other time but I was a teenager so that was kind of like whatever to me but this is like the real deal I feel like people with rounder fatter faces look bad with short hair because it makes their face look rounder and fatter uh. <laughs> Yeah, uh -huh. that's such a fucking lie. Oh my god, that is not. Um, true love. I'll tell you that much. Wait, can you see anything? I can. I I'd go back down. <laughs> oh, I can call you. you. I can call you names that I call my friends now. Like what? What's up, bitch whore? <laughs> I have to respect her. She should feel like fucking utter shit for breaking my heart. I just, I wanted to ask you a question. Okay. I'm gonna put chapstick on first. That's <laughs> just today. She was supposed to only get some fillings done. But while she was there, they're like, you know what? There's a tooth we can take out. It's like a root of a tooth. It was like a tooth that had broke off, like way in the back. I think it was a wisdom tooth. And... Uh, they took it out, so now she's like really numb and in a lot of pain. And oh, my poor baby. How you doing, babe? It's starting to hurt. It's starting to hurt. Mm -hmm. Oh no. I'm hungry. I ate since yesterday. You should probably get some food. Like our love for each other is just so like unconditional. Fanny packs are back in business. I'm so excited. Probably too fat for all the food. Are you actually gonna wear that? Well, yeah. Well, yeah, she says. Oh, you look so cute. Do you need to make it a little bit bigger? I don't know. I think I'm too fat. Baby, you just gotta lose a little bit of weight. I know you can do it. I'm gonna have to really think about this one. <laughs> <laughs> Talking shit, yo. Um, you know. Don't write on me. I did. And I know a lot of you think that you see our relationship as one way and that's fine because that is social media. Social media is what it is, you know, assumptions and, <sighs> but I will tell you one thing, the assumptions are not real. Look how white my face looks compared to my actual natural skin. I literally think that, I think that, I think, I think that I think. I use proper grammar no matter what I'm doing, whether I'm writing a note to somebody or whether I'm just texting or tweeting, no matter what it is, I just like have a really big like OCD with it. Like it's kind of like a perfectionist problem. I'm whiter than I really am. Oh man. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a darker foundation. This is Born This Way by Too Faced. And we're gonna see if we can fix it just the teeniest bit. This might be an absolute fail. 
And now I know though to buy a foundation that is just a little bit darker. Oh boy. And so, so I'm just gonna use some e.l.f. on my eyebrows. Um, I don't really have eyebrows. Girl, I ain't got eyebrows. I, you've been knew that. You've been known. Like, what do you mean? And I don't care about eyebrows. So I'm just gonna do this to make them a little darker. Someone told me that I, in the comments, not in real life. No one actually says these things to people. Um, but I read a comment that said, I look like an old woman when I wear fake eyelashes. And I was just like, oh. Oh, is she dying? Okay, hi. We are now using my phone because I don't know what happened. And now we just wait. So I wanted to show you guys my lips. <sighs> it hurts so bad that I feel the throb of my heart in my lips, but it really does work. My lips are super tiny, so it probably doesn't look like it to y'all. <laughs> my lips are no longer pluckered, but I do hope that you guys enjoyed getting ready with me and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. So whether it's your first time watching that, or you've seen it several times before, you've got to admit just how fake Amber seems. It's clear she cares more about the title of wife rather than who she's actually getting married to. I hope history doesn't repeat itself with Miss Slums. Thank y'all so much for being here and know that I love you endlessly. You are genuinely so cared for. Bye bye!